Okay, y'all. Hello, YouTube. I'm out running uh, errands today, but I wanted to uh, do a rebuttal concerning the uh, George Floyd thing. Y'all, I am so glad that that is over. I am so glad. I uh, give condolences to the family, to the friends, and uh, I'm just so glad that they finally charged, they upgraded Derek Chauvin's charges and charged the other three with aiding and abetting and uh, second degree murder. Of course, the family is hoping for first degree. And um, so I'm just believing, you know, God with them, you know, for whatever their heart's desire is because that killing was blatant. It was in your face murder. You know, like, I can do what I want because I'm an officer, and they're not going to do me anything, you know? So, I'm just excited, and uh, I think what really blessed me is to see everybody involved, see all nationalities all across the United States, all, all, all in, in other countries there were marches, and it was just beautiful, and I just want to commend everybody. I didn't get a chance to march. Uh, I wasn't in the loop, you know, I'm here in uh, Virginia. They did protesting in Richmond and protesting in Petersburg, but I wasn't in the loop on it. But y'all, you, you can rest assured that I was sending my prayers up to God that something would be done because it was just total unrest. And uh, I'm not going to say that the fight is over, but I will say that George Floyd's death is not in vain. In fact, he's gonna go down in history, you know, because what people fail to realize is that we was up against, you know, I like what they call it, uh, systemic, but we was up against a system that, you know, immediately when the United States, you know, when they came, when Columbus came to America, he didn't discover it. It was already here, people were already here. But what they do, they colonize everywhere they go. Now, white people, please don't get mad at me. Because I appreciate everybody that, that, that involved in the map. Uh, uh, bought, I mean, that were involved in the march. But y'all know and I know that your forefathers were colonizers, you know. And so it was based on bringing slaves here and production, money. And though they claimed they set the slaves free, the slaves weren't set free. It, we, we, we just have a different form of slavery now, you know, and so it's sad, you know, that the pro, the protesters was really coming up against a demon, a demon of racism, and um, that demon has been around for years. That demon has been around. That demon has, has, has been around, y'all excuse me, somebody didn't want to let me over, but that demon had, uh, has been around for years, and um, it's just a shame. Um, as far as what had to be done to get that demon, you know, to stir that pot up, and for it to be exposed, that racism is still alive and well. But what I like is that they're tearing down or taking down um, statues of white men that represent confederacy, slavery. They're taking it down. I know in Virginia, uh, the governor is uh, taking uh, a Robert E. Lee statue down. In Birmingham, Birmingham, Alabama, they're taking a statue down there. And I hadn't studied to see where else they're probably taking them down. But it's time, y'all. It's, it's overdue. But what I want to share with our people, with our black people is, let's not antagonize the police. Not saying that we ever did, but let's not antagonize, and you know, just, just to get a fight to see, you know, what, what, what local authorities going to do to the cops. Let's not antagonize. Let's continue to do, you know, just be regular civilians. And uh, let's be positive. Let's try to bridge that gap if, if, if we can. For those who are Christians, let's stay prayerful. And, um, and let's just, you know,
know, start a, 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 a new beginning. I mean, whatever that is, a, a new normal. And let's continue to pray for our leaders. Uh, the leaders, you know, we're making it clear that we need to, for those who haven't signed up to vote, vote. You know, uh, we can fight other ways. You know, vote people in and vote people out. You know, so let's use every avenue that, that we can to, to make a difference. But I will say this here, y'all. This, this is the end times. Not saying that God is going to blow up the earth. But this is the end times. And, uh, yeah, uh, uh, this, this this here is is is, is the end times. I, I, I apologize, y'all. I was just distracted. There's stuff going on out in traffic, and I probably should. I know I should be recording and, and, and driving, but I just had to get this off my chest, you know. But these these are the end times, and these are the signs, you know, are, are the pandemic with the COVID nineteen and the pandemic with the racism, you know, and. Black people have faced a whole lot. We we have we have faced a whole lot, and we we have faced hate, ruthlessness, killings, just so much, you know. And um, it took these riots. It, it took fire. It took. It's sad that it had to take that, but it's taking a whole lot of stuff to 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 get those that are in authority, the white people that are in authority, attention. It's sad that it has to be that way, but it has to be that way, you know. So, I just wanted to put my little two cent in that I can breathe a little bit now. I can rest a little bit now. And like I said, we don't need to antagonize, you know, those in, in authority. Let's just work with the authority on what can we do to improve, you know, the situation. Because it's about peace, love, you know, change. You know, it's, it's about that. And, you know, we could be negative and act crazy, but that, that that's not that's not going to help. And, yes, we know we have had a lot of our people martyred and murdered and, you know, mauled and just a lot of things, you know. But I, I, I just, you know, want to encourage everybody, let's, let's get God involved, get Jesus, get Holy Spirit, get the angels involved, and ask God to move like he's never moved before, you know. So I'm proud of all the young protesters. I just want to appreciate every young protester. Y'all, you know, I heard somebody say that, that, uh, that the young people like, move, move out the way, y'all old folk. You know, y'all moving too slow, you know. And um, the young protesters are like, listen, we rolling. And they, you know, uh, but not on that, it was mixed mixed uh, nationalities marching which was beautiful I want to say shout out to all the white people that weren't silent because the sign they, they had a sign silence mean violence so I want to say that um, I'm proud of every white person that participated because it makes a difference because y'all voices affect each other because the white people weren't listening to us. Some, some of them were, and uh, I, I will admit, you know, some, some of the Caucasians were, are, are very helpful through, through the years. But it's been less than more. And so to see a lot of white people marching was just really a blessing. So I'm just so glad for that. But anyway, I just want to just say how happy I am that it's a start. You know, let's... You know, we, we, we know we got a ways to go, but let's just say, you know, it's, it's a start. You know, all four of them are locked up. What they did to George Floyd, now they finna get a taste of their own medicine. And that's what they need. They need time behind bars on them hard beds, them hard pillows they gonna lay on, that, 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 that ugly food that they gonna eat from jail, the time spent in those, in those four corners, those four walls, you know, they, they, they're going to be told when to, go, when to get up, when to go to sleep. God forbid that, that, that they put them among the population, you know. But it's time that officers, that bad officers, y'all, let, let me make this clear. Not every cop is bad because if something happened, 
I'm going to call 911. We need authority. We, we, we need policing. We need the government. We, we need that. You know, I, I, God, God forbid we, we bucking against governing. No, that, that's not it. We need that. But we have to recognize that there are bad apples among the bunch and that cops need to be accountable. They, they need to be accountable, you know, and, um, and, and, and uphold the law the, the way they expect civilians to uphold the law. You know, just it's, it's time to be fair. Let's be clear. It's just it's time to be fair. But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to give my two cents on that. I'm excited. I'm just happy. And I could just see the hand of God moving. I'm excited because Jesus Christ coming soon and he's trying to get us together. He's trying to get us together before he uh, 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 come through those clouds and come get us. So y'all be ready. For those who don't know Christ, get to know him as your personal savior. And uh, walk in love, repent, you know, uh, get in the Bible, begin to read. Because it's, it's, it's just going to come a time. You know, everything going to, it, it, it's, it, it's going to get worse. But I think for right now, I hope this gets better where we're at now. But according to the scriptures, it's going to get worse after the church is taken out of here. So let's try to make a change while we can before Christ come get us up out of here. All right. Love y'all.